What's up guys, Zach Scott here with another guide to Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Weirding Woods is a zombie PvE area and there are 24 golden gnomes to be found there as well. My friend Jordan aka Xanator helped me find them all so I'm going to pay it forward and help you find them all. All I ask in return is that you subscribe. Weirding Woods is divided into Camp Nera Lake, Stirring Swamp, and Z-Tech Factory. In Camp Nera Lake right here, there's a pie on the windowsill. All you gotta do is eat it, then a gnome is exposed, you take the gnome, and you got that gnome. Hey, if you liked racing in Town Center, you're gonna love racing in Camp Nera Lake. Right over here on this long building, it's actually a bridge, but on top of it is a gnome over here. You pick it up, it looks like you're just gonna get it, but no, it's a race. So you run for the races, right? You go and you dodge the enemies, there's gonna be some plants in your way. But uh, this requires a lot of rooftop jumping, so be sure to be someone who has access to like some sort of uh, vertical capabilities here. And then uh, you should be fine, but we're gonna go we'll right past the chest. Don't forget that chest though, later on. You're gonna wanna double, double back into that chest for sure. And then uh, another gnome right there. Eventually this will end, and then you can pick up your gnome right there on the ledge. I hope you're happy. At the yellow tent right over here where this is located, uh, on the on the platform, you can look over at the switch right here. Shoot it, and guess what? You guessed it, no maliths. These are the ones that you gotta rotate, but there's only two facing each other. So you're gonna wanna uh, rotate it until the boot faces each other right here. It's the boot symbol. And so, uh, let's get it done. Right there, with one boot. And then right there's the other boot, and then the gnome will appear uh, up on the rocks right here. Nicely done. So. Uh, there is a very, very, very tall tent <laughs> up over here at this location, and uh, you don't even have to climb it to grab the gnome. You just jump and then grab it. It lets you do it, and once you're successful, you got it. In between Camp Nera Lake and Z-Tech Factory, there's a little path here, and you'll see a bunch of cargo containers stacked up. There's a switch right there that will reveal the gnomolith, and uh, you got to feed it 10 marshmallows. Save your marshmallows, right? That was a delicious sounding burp. Anyway, all you gotta do is uh, beat 15 of them. Each time you vanquish one of the gnomes, more time is added to the timer. Uh, let's skip to the 15th right here. Boom, got him with more time. Now a, a gnome champion will appear and you have to vanquish him as well. Uh, right now we only have like a few seconds left, really only about 45 seconds left. So we gotta beat the gnome champion and then once we do, then the gnome will appear. Jordan's the one doing this, and man, he's got it down to the wire. Six seconds left, are you kidding me, Jordan? The champions, oh, he got more time because he vanquished the other gnomes. Oh my gosh, he's almost dead. <laughs> oh, I'm leaving that in, I'm leaving that in. He's got four seconds, so yeah, he's gaining more seconds by taking out the other gnomes. So that's a very important strategy here because this is a little bit dif difficult. And honestly, I don't remember how I did. I probably died too. Let's not throw him under a bus just yet. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> he's getting up the bombs. All right, anyway. So 15 seconds left to take out the champion. I think he's got it this time. The gnome screaming, he's like, ow, ow, ow. All right, we got this. We got this, there you go. Gnome will look complete. <laughs> All right, that was actually kind of a tough fight. Of course, you get gold in return as well. But go pick up your gnome on top of the gnomolith. Let's stay in Z-Tech Factory for now, uh, at least in this general area, and there's a gnome over there. To get it, you gotta first activate the switch. Not by shooting it, but by pressing it, of course. And then you follow the, the path, the, the blue flashing satellites or whatever, to uh, get boosted. And then once you're boosted, you're gonna fly all the way over here, and there's a gnome just sitting here, and that's that. This next gnome is also in Z-Tech Factory, and you see the sequence of trains on the map? Well, you go inside and there, believe it or not, is a gnome. But guess what? It's not just a gnome just sitting there. That'll be too easy. No, it's a full-on race. So let's go get that gnome. Catch that gnome, it says. Let's catch the gnome. Again, you just have to run through these. You don't actually have to pick them up. But this is a pretty cool one because it takes you through the trains. It takes you through this area. And uh, you got to watch out for those guys, man. Those guys can really shoot you. Especially multiple ones can really snipe you. But that's okay. Let's go grab it. Oof. And right there, and then the gnome appears. We just walked right past him trying to stay alive, but the gnome appears on those blue barrels that we just saw. So let's go back and get it. But watch out. I guess you can pick it up from behind. Can you pick it up from behind? No. Got it. This next gnome, though, is, is super easy. Super, super easy. You just gotta find it. And basically, there's a switch right here. See the broken wall? There's a switch. Hit the switch, the gnome appears. 
Doesn't get much easier than that. Just a matter of finding it. This next gnome is right here in Tim's room. I actually first noticed this during a cutscene, uh, but it's right by uh, his altar to the dummy on the left side over here. He's hiding amongst the candles, but we found you, gnome. This next one's a little bit tough. Uh, it's kind of under the bridge area here. And what happens is when you hit the switch, a gnomolith will appear, and you have to prevent the gnomes from getting inside the circle. Now, when I was playing and recording my videos, Jordan helped me with this. Uh, it cost 10 uh, marshmallows. And so, you know, this might be kind of hard. When I did it with Jordan, we did it like immediately. So if you have problems keeping the bombs out of this, uh, I highly recommend uh, playing with a friend because it's an easy way to get this type of mission done. And uh, once you do, you'll get, you'll get a gnome. So let's fast forward to uh, 10 seconds remaining. And Jordan uh, let, let a lot of them in, but he had one more left and he did not let the final one in. And so there we go, completed, nicely done. And then the gnome appears on top of the gnomolith, like always. Nice. In Stirring Swamp, you're going to want to keep your head up because there's a lot of stuff going on in the treetops. And if you go over here, uh, there is actually a red storage container in the treetops, one of the Can't Hardly Freight containers. And just in the corner right here, uh, there is a gnome. And that's all you got to do is just collect it. Very close by, uh, there is a switch that you need to hit that'll give you some more uh, paths for boosting and jumping. I don't know what they're called, but, <laughs> but there's the switch. You'll see which way to go. You want to go this way. And you kind of make your way through the treetops following this. Get the boost. And boom, you're going to want to ignore the treasure chest right here and instead look for a switch. You hit the switch, and that's that. The gnome appears right over here on the red train car. Nicely done. Level 9. All right, this gnome right here is so easy. It's literally just sitting on top of the crate. Just go get it. You can jump, be anyone, go get it, and pick it up right here. There you go. Just kidding, it's a race. Ha <laughs> ha, it's a race. No, so you gotta go and run for it. This isn't very hard either though, but it's a race, and you just gotta follow the path. But I mean, the, I don't even know if there's a time limit. There's probably a time limit of some sort, but you just race, and you pick them up. Just run through them. No problems, right? I'm showing you the full race rather than, you know, cutting it out because just in case you need to know. And then the gnome appears. And you're going to want to go backwards to pick it up. That's no, just kidding. It's right there. Anyway, on the next <laughs> section here, there is a switch inside the building. And uh, basically, you just go in and you're going to want to go in a little bit, then turn around and look up because there's a switch on the overhang. Uh, shoot it and a gnomolith appears. This one's going to cost you 10 marshmallows again and uh, you just go over and do it. But you know, you're gonna wanna target uh, individual uh, shooting gnomes. You're gonna wanna be someone who can target them easily, someone like Super Brain, someone like Captain Deadbeard. And it looks like we're gonna be Super Brains here. And all you gotta do is beat up just the shooting gnomes, just the one, it shows you which ones they are. They're the yellow ones who are shooting at you with bullets and you got them. And they drop marshmallows too. So you can make up some of your marshmallows by doing this event, but still. You gotta go do them. And then over here, there's two. It goes one, then two, then three. Super Brains needs to probably heal, but no, don't do anything crazy. You gotta watch out with Super Brains because sometimes the combo happens. And uh, if you die, that's fine because you'll still have time on the clock. 10 seconds left. Can Jordan pull this off? Probably not. He's, oh, he might be able to do it. Cutting it close. He's also damaging some of the other ones. There we go. But I, too, I don't know if you saw my footage of this, but I kept thinking I was losing, but I ended up winning. <laughs> All right, but anyway, here we go again. Three of them this time. Doing damage to the other ones, but not as much as doing to the main shooting ones, so. Oh, another death. That's okay. We can laugh at our own mistakes or someone else's mistakes. Let's go over here. There you go. Completed, and now go pick up the gnome from on top of the gnomolith, and you'll be having a great day. This next gnome is up in a bird nest, and there's actually a medal associated with reaching the bird nest, but right now, uh, at the time of this recording, it isn't working, but it's gonna be patched, and the medal uh, will show up eventually. Uh, but basically, you go over here, and there's a, you keep going around here, and there's a bird nest with a gnome in it. You can pick up the gnome, but you don't get the medal quite yet. Will be patched soon, hopefully in October. There's another Gnomolith puzzle about right here in this location between Stirring Swamp and Z-Tech Factory. And uh, basically what you gotta do is you gotta hit this switch on the wall from afar and four Gnomoliths appear. 
and basically what happens is you have to deal with them on this side and the other side and so you basically try to rotate them try to look at the shapes and see what shapes look good and then uh, once you get a couple lined up you can then trigger this switch and jump to the other side and do the other four and I'm sorry the other two the other two right here uh, for four total and once you get these rotated and locked into place uh, then you can uh, do this with the other one as well and then a gnome appears the gnome is all the way back in the middle so you have to hit the switch again to jump back over no problem we got this right absolutely boom gnome collected right over here there it is nice this one's actually really close to the gnome shrine up here and you see that long line of trains that, that goes from one area to the next well the line of trains up here actually has uh, a path that you can walk on and then behind the gate is another gnome this next gnome in stirring swamp is actually easiest if you clear out the enemies here or you can put them to sleep with the boom box but if you don't have the boom box yet and you just want to get the gnome then you can clear out the enemies and then dig at this dig site it takes a long time to do it but believe me the reward is good it's a gnome spoiler alert it's a gnome <laughs> it takes a long time to dig but once you dig it you dig it there's a gnome dig it hey i never promised this guide would be in order of location but doubling back to camp nira lake if you go up here on top of the cliff there's going to be a switch there's a, well, not only is there a treasure chest but there's also a switch right there and so you you hit it a gnomolith appears and then this one's going to require uh some traversal and this one's actually kind of difficult uh you know i use space cadet oh jordan's using space cadet too very cool uh let's see if he can make it over here I imagine so. There's one. There's two. Three. Four. Five. The good news is that you do get a little bit of extra time uh, each time you pick one up, so don't feel too stressed about the time uh, unless you miss. If you miss and fall off the platform, then you're going to have a hard time here. But uh, there's the next one. Okay. Oh, see, double jump. The double jump saves the day again. There we go. And then this one's uh, gonna swing over to you. Nicely done. Now keep in mind, you're gonna have to spin marshmallows each time, so try not to miss these platforms, try not to fall. This one uh, almost trick tricked me too. And this one's like kind of way over there, but it's coming. Don't shoot, don't shoot! And then here's one over here as well. And then you're done. It, the gnome appears on the gnomolith, leveled up to level two as well. Space Cadet power. Let's do a couple of easy ones here. <laughs> in uh, Camp Nero Lake. Uh, one just over here, you hit the switch. Uh, the switch is a little bit hidden. Gotta go all the way over here, hit the switch, and a gnome appears on the beach. Simple, very cool. And then this next gnome, if we take a look, is over on this side of Camp Nero Lake, on the other side of the lake, over here. And it's a similar situation where you just hit the switch, and then the gnome appears. Easy, nicely done. Now, the most complicated gnome to find requires that you have the boom box, and you're gonna to wanna to go into the area where one of the diamond gnomes is found here. But once you have the boom box, you put them to sleep, you can shoot open the heart, you can go in, and uh, this one's gonna require some uh, traversal and then some puzzle solving. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit the switch uh, down in this location here to get the boost ramps going. I don't know what they're called. Boost ramps is what I call them just now. <laughs> so you hit the switch, and then you'll see the path lit up by blue. And then you're gonna shoot yourself up to the treetops in just a second. And then you're gonna wanna, uh, you know, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out on your own, but this one actually took me a few attempts. But basically, you're gonna wanna follow this path. And you're gonna wanna make the jump right there. And you're gonna make a couple more jumps because this thing is a bit tricky to find. Almost all the way onto your path to find the diamond gnome at the top. Uh, you will eventually get to a space where there is a switch in view And I'll show you that in just a second There is a chest over there. You know if you want to go that way, of course, you're gonna have to if you want to get the chest, but for now There you go up here you hit this switch Nomalus appear. I believe this is a is this a six one? Let's find out. Let's see what ends up happening. So this might just be four, but it might be six uh, no, this is a six one. Yeah, this is one six. So you basically try to look at the shapes and line them up appropriately. 
Um, and once you do, you know, the lights come on, and you want to have all the lights come on. So, like, no lights are coming on there, so you're going to want to make sure that this one's lined up appropriately. So, there you go. There's one light, but you want two. Oh, you actually want all three lights. So, you're going to make one light up over here as well. So, just taking a look at the shapes, I suppose. Not quite. Not quite. Hold on, we'll get it, we'll get it, don't worry. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. So those two are lit up. This one's lit up a lot. And then we want to rotate this one so that this one lights up as well. There you go. And then that one needs to be a fork over here. There you go. And then that one needs to be a hand. I think that's what it was, a hand, right? Or a glove. It could be a glove. There we go. And then just uh, the final one is going to be over here. And that needs to be... Oh, I missed the shape. You can tell me in the comments below what shape that is. But it's right there. Perfect. Once That's, that's the most complicated gnome of Weirding Woods. But once you get it, uh, you're set. Nice. Leveled up to nine. All right, this other gnome also requires you to have the boom box and you put the forest to sleep. And then you can shoot open the heart right here. Once you do, uh, not only are you gonna have a golden chest, but you're also going to have a gnome in the corner. So, hey, two goodies for the price of one. Now, last but not least, we're saving this one for last because it costs the most. You have to spend a lot of marshmallows, kind of like the toilet flush one in uh, the town center. You're going to want to spend a lot of marshmallows right there in the blue fire to get the gold gnome. And then once you do, well, once you have all of the gnomes, which we do have right now, you can take uh, yourself over to <laughs> the gnome shrine. If it's not activated yet, you can activate it. It'll show you what you have and what you need. Uh, but once you have all of the gold gnomes, you can open up both of these chests right here. And so go ahead and pick it up. And then you're going to get uh, some greed eternal uh, punchers for your victory slab, along with a bunch of coins, of course, which is going to be great. And then you're going to, uh, in the other chest, get another victory slab, which this is the Brisnickety Vault victory slab. Very cool. Super rare. Good rewards overall. And more coins as well. Well, that wraps up my showcase of all 24 Golden Gnomes. Thank you, Xanator, for helping me film this episode. And be sure to subscribe to both of us if you want to keep up with the latest PVZ Battle for Neighborville videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for more. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.